the king cobra. Cream-colored bands across his body gives camouflage as he moves. These snakes are genetically different to the rest of the family, but their hood and potent venom earns them a place in the cobra club. This is Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. Right behind me, we have a beautiful 1993 Ford Mustang Cobra. Extremely clean example, tasteful modifications in regards to the suspension and the engine. If you guys want to find out full details, click on the link below. It's going to have a full gallery, underside shots, the list goes on. Let's do a comprehensive walk around. Oh, yeah, and a test drive. Let's talk about the overall condition. I would rate this one an eight out of 10. It does have repaint, so repainted on the top half. When we purchased this, we actually saved this car. It had white stripes throughout, so we had those removed and we painted it in the proper color. We went through uh, engine components, so the actual alternator was not operating along with the water pump, so we took care of that, along with a host of other goodies. It does have a set of bare brakes, front and rear, proportioning valve is under the hood. All of your body lines are very even. You still have stickers in place for all of your fenders and the hood, along with the rear sections for the hatch. All of your glass goes up and down with ease. We actually had the window regulators rebuilt, and they work perfectly. All of your black plastics look good. And in regards to the passenger or the driver's side condition, it shows very well. All of your plastic components are very nice, and I would characterize this as a really nice driver quality piece. So you have all of these tasteful modifications in regards to your suspension. You have a full maximum motorsports kit. So you have the K member up front. You have all the suspension components in the rear. And we have a host of receipts for this one. We're going to spin it around and show you the passenger side now and go over more details. Taking a look at the passenger side, it's the same as the driver's side. Condition is very nice. Once again, 8 out of 10, just minor imperfections. And from you, regards to mechanics and cleanliness, I think that this is a great car that you can bring to a car show and win for sure. Shows very well. Wheels and tires are very nice. Factory style wheels with Bridgestone Potenzas on them. They are showing their age, so they're a little bit older. So the date code is older than eight years. So just remember that if you want to get some really sticky tires on it, I would do a Neato 555R because this does have traction issues. So when we take it for the test drive later on, you're going to see us go through all the gears. And I can assure you that third gear is when we're going to hook finally. Uh, body cladding on this side, very nice. Your emblems are in the proper position. And then in regards to the color dis difference, this fender is a little bit darker than the rest of the vehicle because we didn't actually touch this, this fender. We painted everything else. Uh, and I'm being very picky here. So if you look at the pictures, you're not gonna notice it. If you come in person, you really have to look at it. Oh, look at that. That's nice and shiny. But that's how we are here. We tell it exactly how it is so that you guys have a honest representation of this vehicle. Uh, front end looks good. You got your bare brakes right here. So bare brakes on all four corners and you've got stopping power of four wheel disc brakes. Taking a look at the rear, very clean, proper tail lights. So you have the line striping right here, that's signature for the Cobra. Bumper condition is very nice. We did have essentially the whole entire top half of this car painted uh, and they did a great job in regards to matching it. You're gonna see some discoloration on some of the components because some of the paint is older. You do have your exhaust that comes out the rear and please take a moment to click on the link below to see all the underside shots. In regards to top 10 vehicles, this would be my, I would say, number two behind a Grand National. A 93 Cobra has always had my heart, and it's because of the body kit, the wheels, and when you look under the hood, you have that Cobra insignia on the specific manifold for these cars. Taking a look at the front end, very tidy. Headlights look great. The fog lights look good. I don't see any imperfections on the front bumperette. What we're going to do right now is pop the hood so you can see under there, and we'll talk about some of the components that you can actually visually see and not visually see. So let's do that right now. Taking a look under the hood, you can see how clean it is. You do have a full maximum motorsports kit, including the giant strut bar, uh, your caster camber plates. You do have a painted to match AC compressor. Uh, it's still running R12, which is neat, and it is ice cold. 
The actual insulation up here is very nice. You can see some paint work on the top halves, but what I like is all of the stickers are in place. So you have your sticker there, there. Um, right here, you can see where the sticker was, but it's been painted over. Radiator shroud's nice, brand new water pump, does have headers along with a B303 cam, and that's based on solely from sound. I didn't get much information from the gentleman, but you can hear that there's a cam there, full exhaust, and when you see the underside shots, you're gonna fall in love with this one. We do have a 200 amp or a larger alternator there, and we have receipts for a lot of the work that was performed in regards to gaskets, the whole nine yards. Let's close this hood, take a look at the interior, and go for a test drive. Taking a look at the interior, it does have gray leather seats, power adjustable lumbar operates, power windows work, door cards are very nice, your map pockets are not wor super worn out, steering wheel has been refurbished and it looks amazing, gauge cluster looks good, dash has no cracks, no, uh, no holes drilled in it for any additional gauges. You do have an aftermarket Sony radio, which sounds great. You also have a moonroof, so you could pop that open and get some fresh air. Uh, headliner is in black, but it looks like it's an LMR kit that was that's not too pulled too tightly, so that's something that I would pick out in regards to this car. But once again, we're really picky here because we want to make sure that you know exactly what you're getting. Uh, let me jump inside real quick. Very comfortable, showing uh, 95K on the odometer but uh, the Carfax will showcase what the real mileage is. I think that is true though. To start it, starts up nicely, has an amazing sound. AC is ice cold, the chime is still working, horn works. Let's go for a test drive. Before we go for a test drive, I wanna thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoy this content, please be sure to click like and subscribe below. Also, if you wanna support us, be sure to check out our merchandise. I have our BMS hat on, and then obviously we're Fox Body Crazy here, so we have our Heat Seeker shirt. Santi, get out of here. So take a look at that. Let's go for a test drive. All right, we're gonna take this 93 Cobra out for a test drive, go through all the gears, let you decide if you wanna put this in your collection. Right now we have the AC blowing ice cold, which is super nice. It's 98 degrees out here in Florida. We have Santi here. He just became a member of the SVT club, so he just picked up his first Ford Raptor. It's a 2014 yep. with a Roush blower. So let's get back to this one. Teal paint is extremely nice. You guys are seeing that right now in the video. What we're gonna do is go down Marina Mile, uh, test out all the gears, showcase all the functions, horn works, our lights are operating, all of my gauges are working as well, so all the gauges are looking good. We were stuck in waiting for the camera to cool down because it's so hot here, and we were able to uh, see that it wouldn't overheat, and it hasn't overheated. We have the ability to open up all the windows, so we're gonna do that so you can hear the exhaust, and we'll shut the AC off. Radio operates and it sounds good. Clutch is very easy, upgraded clutch. Sounds really good. Going into third gear right now, no issues. Going over the, the bumps, the suspension is very tight, so you're gonna feel that but it feels good. Brakes feel great as well. Going into fourth. Fourth gear, we're at 40 miles an hour at 2,000 RPM. Let's put it into fifth, make sure the clutch doesn't slip. No slippage. Back into third. My seatbelt is uh, making some noise. And I know someone's gonna say that in the video, you should have your seatbelt on. We have a microphone right here, so we're just driving normally uh, when we do the more spirited driving we'll have a lap belt on. Second gear downshift, no issues. Center section's very clean. Dash looks really nice. Once again, AC is very cold. Rear seats look good. It's uh, showing 95,000 miles in the odometer, but you can pull the Carfax up and check that out. Ashtray still works, which is amazing. Our power windows are operating. That's another great, <laughs> great thing right there. We'll test out the acceleration once we go over the bridge. Sounds really good. Door cards are nice. Steering wheel is extremely nice. It's been rewrapped. What do you think about this thing? It's beautiful. 
That's because you're a Ford guy now. First gear, second gear, no issues. acceleration then to get you guys some beautiful artistic shots down shifting into third braking braking's even second gear I like it once again if you have any questions give us a call 954-363-2261 test out our acceleration. signature bumps so you can see how the suspension reacts. It's very healthy, feels good, good oil pressure, good voltage. first set of bumps. We do this in every video so you guys can see how the suspension reacts. Let's put the lights on. Going over the bumps, no issues. Big dip, nice and smooth. I like it. Once again, if you guys have any questions, give us a call, 954-363-2261. I'm out of here.